but so many people still struggle with them. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do them so that you don't have to worry anymore. So, sorry, I'm... <laughs> what the f*** has happened there? Why did he put his weight behind me? The anxiety in the gym took me a long time to get over. And I think that's something that will resonate with a lot of women because you don't just walk into the gym one day and feel strong and empowered and confident. And I'd be lying if I said that even now, there are still times where even with my fitness experience and what I do for a living, I feel a little bit nervous going into the gym. I've been a personal trainer for just over two years now and it has changed my life. A massive part of my job is that I am now an online coach. So all of my personal training, all of my coaching happens online, which means that my clients are all over the world, but it also means that I communicate with my clients through videos. So I had set up my camera to film a bent over row video for my clients. Very simple tutorial just to help them understand uh, how to do the exercise. And I had set myself up and there was not many people in shot. I put myself in the corner for that exact reason. And anyone that was in shot was asked whether they consented which is a really big thing for me and I had started to film this man put his dumbbell literally underneath my feet it was a Saturday morning it was 7 a.m. there was about four people in that outside space two of them being us and there was no need to to do what he did it, it completely caught me off guard and I tried to talk to him as he walked away and he didn't have headphones in he could hear me but continued to walk away as I'm filming the exercise, he comes back into shot. He was not very happy about it. And that's where the kind of video of don't let anyone push you out of the gym came from. A lot of speculation was on whether filming was allowed, whether I was taking up space. There were just so many assumptions being made um, and kind of missing the point of the actual video. The point of the video was to tell people, and mainly women, stereotypically women, because we tend to feel uh, a little bit more anxious in the gym, that you are entitled to your space. Like every single person that pays a gym membership there is deserving of that space. No matter what you look like, no matter your gender, no matter how fit you are, how long you've trained for, you deserve to be there. I first posted that video on TikTok and honestly, my TikTok was very, very small, like a few hundred followers. I didn't think anyone was even gonna see it. About four days after I posted it, it blew up. And it makes me really sad to see the comments that say, this is why I don't go to the gym. On the whole, I have nothing but positive things to say about the gym community and all of the gym environments. My main message is that, A, just to be kinder to other people, but B, you are worth so much more than what you look like. And your body is the least interesting thing about you because you've got so much going on inside. 